Hillside friends and family. Hey, it's Pastor David, and I'm coming to you from beautiful Lake Tahoe, where we're spending a couple days with the family, just relaxing and celebrating the new year. And I want to tell you, Happy New Year. I hope that your transition from 2012 to 2013 was great, but hey, ready or not, here it is. And I am very excited about the things that we have planned for 2013 at Hillside. In fact, especially right at the beginning of the year, we've got something really special. You know, we just got back from skiing just a few minutes ago, and um, I did something this year I've never done before, and that is I skied with a helmet, because I'm not a very good skier. Um, actually, there's a lot of people skiing with helmets now. In fact, there's probably more people with helmets than not. And you know why? Because we listen to the news and we hear about people crashing into trees and killing themselves. So uh, a lot of people are motivated to wear helmets. Uh, some of you are old enough like me to remember when, you know, bike helmets seemed like a dorky thing, and now... Not so much. But, um, you know, a helmet obviously protects you very, very much. Um, in Ephesians 6, it talks about the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. In Isaiah, it talks about the helmet being likened to the Old Testament Scriptures. And, you know, the Bible is like that. We receive salvation through the message that God gives in His Word. We realize that Jesus died for us and rose again by reading the Scripture. And we accept that message and we receive salvation. We're so grateful to God that we can have that salvation in our life. And it protects us. And then once we have that helmet of salvation on our heads, so to speak, it can help us with the way we think, not yielding to temptation, even temptation of actions or thoughts. And the helmet of salvation is our protection. And so we're going to be digging right into the Word of God starting January 6th. Hey, think about it. You have 100% attendance so far for 2013, right? So some of you maybe whose attendance at Hillside was a little sketchy in 2012. That's okay. You get a fresh start. 2013, you haven't missed one single Sunday yet. <laughs> this coming Sunday, we start our 40 days in the Word. And we're going to take a journey together looking at how to, to learn God's Word and how to live God's Word. And so whether you're brand new to the Bible or been in, in it a long time, uh, this is a great study for you. We're having small groups meet. And so if you are not in a small group yet, I want to encourage you to get into a small group. There's some sign-up sheets in the lobby. It's not too late. You can sign up this Sunday, and uh, each of the sheets tells the day, who's leading it, their location, their address, and so forth. So feel free to sign up for one of those. So this Sunday, I'll start with message focusing upon God's Word, and then this coming week, you'll meet with your small group and have an absolutely fantastic time. Some of you have never been in a small group before. This would be a great opportunity for you to do that, uh, and you won't regret it. I've never had anybody be in a small group and say, wow, I wish I hadn't done that. Everybody's always so glad that they did it, did it and you're going to learn a lot. I want to say one thing about the small groups. Except for the one meeting Sunday, all of the weekday small groups will start this Sunday, I mean this coming week, and meet at 7, okay? Now, on your first meeting, feel free to change the time. You, if you can get there earlier and you want to meet at 6 or 6.30, or maybe people's work schedules a little causes them to be a little bit later, maybe you need to make it at 7.30, but you can adjust the schedule. But for this very first week, we'll have the meeting at 7 o'clock, and then the one on Sunday... Take a look at the sheet when you come on uh, uh, this coming Sunday, because it'll be Sunday afternoon or evening. Um, the time wasn't really honed in on uh, this last week, so you can check that out. But that's also an option for you. I am so looking forward to this. I I'll tell you, what a great way to start 2013 with learning God's Word, learning about God's Word, and learning how to live it out. I'm really looking forward to it. Hey, I hope you have a great new year. I'm looking forward to seeing you this Sunday. Take care. God bless.